Hey, this is Buzz with episode 48 of Airwaves. In this episode, I'll be comparing my old ICOM SM5 desk mic to the HM219 hand mic that comes with the ICOM IC7300. Will the SM5 even work with the 7300? We'll find out next on Airwaves. This is Buzz back with episode 48 of Airwaves, and as I promised in this episode, we'll be comparing this SM5 desk mic, some pretty old technology, with the handheld HM219 mic, which comes as the uh, standard mic for the ICOM IC7300. You see here in the background, this is my ham shack that you see here, at least part of it. And what I've done is I've connected the IC7300 to a dummy load. And in case you're not familiar, which I'm sure most of you are, you can record audio, both transmit and receive with the 7300. And you record it onto this SD card, which is mounted right here, if you can see that. So I recorded audio from both the SM5 desk mic and the HM219 handheld mic. We're going to do an AB comparison and show you a few other things about the uh, SM5 microphone. So next thing we'll move here is to the uh, Audition Audio Editor which I use uh, to play back the files. And first of all I recorded the HM219 and you'll notice this is the waveform here for the audio that I've tested. And I'll play that in just a second. I will let you know that um, the settings were identical for both microphones. I didn't make any adjustments other than the adjustments I had already made as far as uh, bass and treble, uh, which are also things that you can adjust uh, with the IC7300. Very versatile radio. So what I'll do is I'll play this um, waveform here. Okay, the first mic we've got here is the standard hand mic that comes with the IC7300. It's the HM219. Uh, got a lot of good audio reports on this mic. I hear people talking about it on the bands, uh, how good it is for a hand mic. So if there's a, a, a hand mic worth comparing to a desk mic, this is probably the one, the HM219. So here you get a, an example of the audio quality of this microphone. Next, I'll hook up the ICOM SM5 microphone. That's up next. So the one thing I want you to notice here is the, uh, the size of the waveform here. Okay. So we'll move on. And let's see here. We're looking for the SM5 test number one. Okay. Now you notice right away, this waveform is much bigger uh, than the original mic, the handheld mic. This is the SM5 mic, so we'll play this audio. Okay, we've got the ICOM SM5 microphone, a vintage uh, desk mic. I believe they first came out about 1979. I found this one on eBay, got a good price on it. I did, before testing this, I made sure that there wasn't going to be an issue with this microphone and the 7300. I called ICOM. They said any 8-pin electric mic should work fine with the radio. So, as you heard there, I did call technical support at ICOM. I wanted to make sure that if I uh, plugged my SM5 mic into the radio, I wasn't going to do any damage because it is much older technology. And they assured me, as long as it was an 8-pin electret type uh, mic element, that it should work all right with the 7300. And indeed it does. But as again, I say, as you notice here, this is a much louder uh, signal than a handheld mic. Now, I think the handheld mic, though, was uh, had a cleaner sound. And I believe what that is due to is I believe the desk mic is picking up background noise. I do have a low power FM transmitter with the cooling fan running right behind me and it's picking up that noise in the room whereas the uh, desk or excuse me the handheld mic uh, was not picking up that audio so that is a big difference now another difference uh, 
in the two mics is that there is an adjustment on the base of the SM5 microphone. So it's, it's a preamp um, circuit built into the base there. So you can boost the output. And I believe that's uh, what's going on here uh, with the uh, louder sound. But even, uh, and you'll see here in, as I adjust it, that even though it uh, is louder, it's also got a little bit more punch to it, I think, than the handheld. The trade-off there being uh, the handheld mic is cleaner, but doesn't have the punch that the desk mic does. Here we have the base of the SM5 mic, and this is the uh, potentiometer pot that I was telling you about. If you can make that out there, that's an H for high, and there's an L over here for low. And this is just a, uh, a thumb screw type adjustment. You just adjust it with your fingers up and down. And what I'm doing in the test here, I'll be adjusting that. Originally it was set, you see the previous owner had put a mark here. Of course I have no idea what radio they were using it with. But uh, I had it set about right here, a little bit lower than that for the first test. But as the tests go on, I'm going to lower this and lower. I will tell you now, though, that if you lower this all the way down, the mic does not put out any audio. At least it, it was not showing up in the 7300. Okay, back to the audio now. Uh, this was the first test again of the SM5. So we'll go on to uh, test number two. Now you notice it looks a little different here. This is after I lowered it a little bit. Let's listen. Okay, here's the SM5 after I adjusted the preamp that's on the base of the microphone, a little uh, potentiometer there, and we'll see what kind of difference it makes. So it's not peaking quite as much as it was before. It's still got that punchiness to it. I will also tell you that what you're hearing here on this recording is different than the way it sounds when you're listening back to it on the 7300. And that's because uh, this is stereo and you're playing a mono file in a stereo and it's got a little bit of that uh, out of phase sound to it. It sounds better on the radio than it does in here. So let's go to test number three. Again, I lowered it down a little bit more. Now I've adjusted the potentiometer down even more on the base of the SM5, and we'll see what kind of difference that makes. So not quite as loud as before, which is to be expected. A little more natural sounding. Still got that uh, edginess to it. And then the final one. If I set it any lower than this right here, it pretty much uh, would not work with the radio. Okay, I've uh, lowered the pot even more on the base of the SM5, and we'll see how this sounds. So I've decided to turn it up uh, for my own personal use just a little bit above this setting. I thought this was a little more natural sounding, but it's still got more level to it uh, than the HM219. You see, again, big difference there in the waveform, but you can also see that it's a cleaner Okay, the waveform. first mic we've got here is the standard hand mic that comes with the IT7300. It's the HM219. Uh, got a lot of good audio reports on this mic. I hear people talking about it on the bands, uh, how good it is for a hand mic. So there it is, um, an A-B comparison some old technology, the ICOM SM5 desk mic. If you're looking for a desk mic to use with the 7300 and you have an SM5 or uh, the newer SM8, uh, which I have a friend who has a 7300, he uses the SM8 with the radio. Sounds great on the air. Um, the, the good thing about the desk mic is it does have the ability to, you know, to adjust the preamplifier on the in the base of the mic there so you can adjust the loudness of the microphone where the handheld mic you know you get what you get and again I think there's a little bit of trade-off there I think the hand mic has a cleaner sound but not as punchy as the SM5 desk mic so it's up to you to decide and, and again there are all kinds of settings inside the 7300 um, menu where you can go and adjust the audio uh, to your liking. So 
Just uh, an interesting thing. I know that I'm not the only person who wondered if, uh, you know, if an older desk mic would work with uh, the 7300, and indeed it does. So this is Buzz. This has been episode 48 of Airwaves. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to like and share the videos, and I'll see you down the dial.